Hey, it's me, GV. Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger, ladies and gentlemen. We have been doing all of the side quests. I think we've done two so far, and we're in the middle of this one, which is, I think, is I think it's the longest one. It's the Rainbow Shell. We defeated the Rust Toronto in the last episode, and we cannot grab this thing. It's too heavy. So we need to go enlist the help of Guardian Castle. So let's go ahead and go there, shall we? Oh, look, it's gonna be kind and teleport us there automatically. We are in 600 AD, not in 1000, so keep that in mind. Hello, you're always welcome here. What can I do for you? We asketh a favor. I get it. You want me to keep that huge shell safe here until the next century, right? I ask for the sake of Chrono. Please carry out their request. Done. I shall obtain the shell and store it in the castle as a national treasure. This always reminded me of Indiana Jones. Uh, the first one, right? Where they uh, store the... Whatever. Forgetting what it is right now, but the thing that blows the guy's face off. Night Captain. Yes, Majesty. Go and obtain the rainbow shell and bring it back in one piece. At once, sire. Thanks to thee from one so humble. Okay, now we are free to move about the cabin. How's it going, guys? Nonsense, you saved the day I just cooked. Wow, he actually has the same dialogue uh, from the last time we were here. What about you? Chrono, my thanks extend for generations to come. Literally. Done. I shall obtain the shell and store it in the castle. Okay. I think we are done here. Oh no, they're running through this whole thing again. Okay, so obviously... Alright, stop with... Frog, stop. Stop with the dialogue. We're done here. Alright, obviously what we need to do now, it's... I don't... Th I forget if I mentioned this or not, but it's pretty ironic that we're talking to the king with Magus in our party, considering they were fighting war against the damn guy, but... Yeah. Such is Chrono Trigger. Alright, let's head back to 10,080, or I guess let's head forward to 10,000... Oh, I keep saying 10,000. 1,000 AD. Let's land this thing here. And let's save the game. Actually, you know what we need to do? I forgot if it does it automatically or not, but just to be on the safe side, uh, we should head back to the end of time and get Marl in our party. All right, I switched out Magus for Frog, or, or sorry, I switched out uh, Magus for Marl. I wanted to have Ma Magus, but I think Frog and Marl both have dialogue for this section, so yeah, we'll keep them both. How's it going, gentlemen? The king ordered that the court be locked until the trial's over. The trial? What do you mean, the trial? The trial of the century is about to begin. Who, Who's, you ask? King Guardia's, of course. King Guardia? They say the king sold off the royal treasures. What? That can't be right. Um, well, we can't go over there, so how about over here? The king ordered that the court be locked until, until the trial is over. And the same thing. Okay, well, what about the right side? I think that leads to the kitchen, though. Are we not supposed to be in this time period? Oh, wait a second. Looks like things have changed. There's a different section here. Same thing on the left, but we weren't... But weren't there some stairs over there? Yeah. The king ordered that the court be locked. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see where this one leads. Probably the kitchen. No, but there are some snakes. How odd. Okay, where does this lead then? Let's go upstairs first. We have a, a chest here. Wow, that's like eight times in the last one minute that I mixed up my words. One hyper ether. It's almost like I haven't been doing Let's Plays for a year, huh? Okay. It's locked. What? How can that be? Okay. Nothing over here. And let's see where this leads. No entry allowed. Let me through! Girl power. Had any of you heard of the rainbow shell? I too had no idea until I found this. It's an ancestral will. It says, unveil the rainbow shell to the people at the Millennial Fair. What are you talking about? We have no family heirlooms here. So this is a forgery. Why does the defendant deny the people a glimpse of the rainbow shell? Because he's... Because he no longer has it. He sold the heirloom for cash. Witness, please. I'm sorry. Witness, please. What, what is it, Nadia? We are conducting a trial here. Father. Nadia, the Chancellor is trying to frame me. He hurls insults. Confirm your innocence with proof. Confirm your innocence. Okay, let me uh, wash my verbal palate. Let's start anew. Proof? Yes, if he hasn't sold the heirloom, it should be in the castle. Show me the rainbow shell and I'll accept his innocence. <laughs> Chancellor, what kind of trickery is this? Remove them! Uh-oh, we got some zeal ocean palace music going on now. No entry allowed. Let me through! I don't think it's gonna work twice tomorrow. Princess, not even you may enter. Tis the rainbow shell that shall prove his innocence. 
What are you saying? It's a lie. There is no heirloom. Mara, were you not... Oh, I guess you weren't there, but you should know still. Hast thou forgotten? History hath been changed, and the shell is within the castle. Aha! The rainbow shell we gave to my ancestor 400 years ago was still here. Yeah, no shit! <laughs> what, are, what are you thinking? It's probably in the basement. Yeah! Duh! Princess, not even you may enter. Okay. So obviously our path is clear. We need to head to where those snakes are. The chest is still locked. Uh, but we do want to head downstairs to see where this leads. Looks like the kitchen. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything in here, but there are some new people. Cut the foolishness. Jeez, I ain't gonna poison the Chancellor. Cut the foolishness. I can't get anything done with you standing around. So it would seem that the Chancellor has taken over... Actually, can we activate this still? Doesn't look like it. It would seem that the Chancellor has taken over the uh, kingdom and is trying to frame King Guardia for selling the rainbow shell. So we need to find it as proof. This guy's dead. Ouch, a rat bit me. I guess he's not dead. Hello, snakes. Dumb. The boss is itching to avenge the grudge that's been in the family for 13 generations. Gee hee. He's gonna frame the king, Gaha. Wait a second, wasn't there a fiend, Nasher? Is this the same Nasher that we fought like at the beginning of the game? I guess so, because they die in one hit. Um, wasn't there a leader of the fiends that we fought 400 years ago that was trying to uh, impersonate the chancellor? way back in the beginning of this let's play so there is a plot let's hurry oh look at that transition that's the first time we've seen that i confess i bought it from the king he said he needed the cash liar i've never even seen you before order in the court and the king is telling the truth by the way right now if that wasn't clear <laughs> was i convincing perfect naga et and nasher I have a naked picture of you, Nagaet, or I guess we traded it, um, for I forget what. Oh, for the key to that drawer way back when. A lot of way back whens in this episode. You'll also notice we're getting, like, no experience or tech points. Okay, let's open this. One lapis. I don't think we're going to be able to get to those other chests, but we should be able to get to these two. One hyper ether and one elixir. Yeah, we can't go around there. Oh, well. I wonder if you could actually open those chests with, like, a hack or something. Or like, uh, I don't know how you would hack an SNES, but you know what I mean. I wonder if there is a way to open those, if you could see what was inside. Okay, yeah, so so far this is not challenging at all. We're fighting enemies that were at the start of this game. But we will continue. Man, what have these guys been doing for 400 years? They haven't been leveling up, they've been saying the exact same. You know what, let's kill these three guys with a, uh, a Luminaire, just for the ultimate overkill. Let's see how much damage it does to all of them. I's gonna guess 1700 is probably gonna be the maximum just like the dinos right oh 3,000 never mind <laughs> yes I believe that's the definition of overkill okay so I don't remember this being like super easy I guess it will be though oh look at that thing up there one elixir one hyper ether one lapis can we get to those chests doesn't look like we can nope okay but there's the rainbow shell the rainbow shell. Why, tis a letter? To Marl? Dear Smarl, I know things are tough between you and your father, but nothing can break your bond of blood, neither words of anger nor great distances. Someday when you have children, you will understand. The special bond is a part of a family tree which links us together. Queen Guardia, 21st, Lean. Dear Queen Lean, let us now make haste and fulfill our quest. Father, hang in there, we're coming. You got one prism shard. Members of the jury, if he is guilty, stand to the left. If innocent, stand to the right. Guilty. Okay, can we activate this again? No, we cannot. So it looks like we need to hurry before the king is sentenced to a crime that he did not commit. Very similar to what happened to Chrono at the beginning of this LP. Damn it. You're going to die for that. Goodbye. The ultimate irony, right? I mean, the king had a hand in sent sentencing Chrono to a crime he didn't commit, and now he's facing the same risk. Although I don't think it's much of a risk because he's definitely going to be convicted. 
if we don't hurry. How's it going, gentlemen? Um, the decision is about to be handed down. The king requests that no one enter or leave. Wait. Okay. So I guess we need to head up here. I don't think we can... Yeah, we, can, we still can't open that chest. Princess, not even you may enter. You won't reconsider? No, princess. There's one way. It's a bit rough, but just follow me. The verdict is in! Guilty. My god. The Guardia line ends here. This domain shall be mine. Take him away. Marl still lives, you jerk. Wait! Who, who is it? Father! Well, if that isn't symbolic, I don't know what it is. She's breaking through the mural of, I guess, justice. Nadia. Because obviously there's some injustice going on here. Princess, control yourself. You're too late. The king has been found guilty. Even kings are subject to our laws. No, this was a setup. Nonsense. The king's a crook. But the treasure is right here. Impossible. Your little scheme is over, Chancellor. Grr. I mean, uh... Huh? Hee hee hee. It's not the plot, you think. I'm here to avenge my ancestors. It's not the plot, you think. Super Ultra Presto Transformo. And it's a different shade of Yakra. This one's Yakra the 13th. Okay, let's see how much damage this does. I do think that this is a real boss fight. Um, but it might not be. I don't really remember if this guy's a pushover or not. Either way, we're gonna spam Luminaire on his ass. He's gonna get some real enlight in mint, if you know what I mean. Okay, Marl's confused. Uh, I think we will use Leap Slash with Frog, and then we'll just keep spamming Luminaire over and over and over and over and over. Looks like so far he's using Blizzard Slash Chaos, which does a tiny bit of damage and also makes it so that we don't have control over Frog and Marl. But that's okay, as long as Chrono is totally fine, we can keep spamming Luminaire. And uh, hopefully he will attack... Okay, there we go. Yeah, we want that to happen because now she just woke up Frog, although he's glowing white. I think that might mean that he has uh, slow on him. I'm not really sure, to be quite honest. Alright, so we're going to be able to use Luminaire, I think, three more times. Let's see. No, looks like one more time. Okay, and we use Leap Slash the Frog. Okay, it looks like this guy is a pushover. So, yeah, this is really good that we're doing all these side quests. I think we will be able to beat Lavos after all this stuff is done. Plus, we'll level up to probably around, I don't know, 45 maybe. Hopefully, this Luminaire kills him. No. Yeah, you can use that move all you want, Yakra 13. It doesn't really do any damage at all. So, Chrono has no more uh, MP. So, let's use a mid ether on him, and then we'll use Luminaire, and uh, we should be good to go. We use a loops, uh, loop sluice. Did we use a leap slash with frog yet? I don't think so. I don't remember what the damage is. Can you die, please? I want to move on. Ugh, you resilient bastard, Diacra 13. Come on now. Okay, 704. That's pretty good. I don't even know what Marl could do right now. Heard about it from the ancestors. Your weaknesses are. What are my weaknesses? You might not even get a chance to finish that sentiment. Yeah, I guess he will. Wow. He doesn't do any damage, but he has quite a bit of health. Ice 2 is pitiful. You gonna tell me what my weaknesses are, or what? This is it. Ah, that is actually my weakness. Yeah, I forgot he had that ability. Okay, Marl's dead, but that's no big deal, because she's just not doing all that much anyways. So, yeah, he's doing the uh, ability that Lavos has. Alright, let's see if one more Luminaire will do the trick. Spin version 13. Okay. So that still didn't kill Frog. Come on, Luminaire. 
I know you can do it. I want this boss fight to end. I don't know why this guy does so little damage. <laughs> Ironically, as Marl's dead. Oh my god. Alright, so this is an interesting pickle here. I might actually have to eat my words hardcore here if he doesn't die to this Luminaire. Defeat it again. Thank god, that was cutting it. Oh no, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No freaking way. Are you kidding me? Did that actually happen? Did the self-destruct move actually work? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, well, I'll see you guys here again. Okay, now as long as everybody can survive this, which they should... Yes. Goodbye, Yakra13. Screw you, man. I... You made me play that whole thing. That took forever. Alright. Bye-bye. Got 3,500 experience points. Found 2,000 G. Got one Mega Elixir. And there's a sparkle sparkle on the ground, and I bet I know what that is. Father, I... No, don't say it. I was wrong to be so stubborn. No, I didn't even think about how you felt. Um, I know it's in my heart, but the words just come out wrong. I too have that problem. I thought you left me, realized that it was I who abandoned you. But I'm here now. We'll talk about everything that's happened. About Chrono and Mother and... Your mother. How sad. It has taken me so long to understand what Eliza meant with her last words. Someday when Nadio grows up, she will bring her beloved to meet you. Welcome him warmly. It will be a day you remember forever. Wait, but who could he be talking about? You heard her last words? Of course! You were so young. You ran around saying, Daddy, it's fun having all my favorite people here. Seeing you so happy, she felt reassured, and she left us quite peacefully. So that's how it was. Yes, why? I used to call you Daddy? You did. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm really sorry for doubting you. I'll let you exit the castle, but you be careful now. Take care of her. Indeed, sir. It's my turn now. Melchior? Can't let you run the whole shell? Let me make some weapons from the rainbow shell. Finally time for me to do something. Watch and learn. Okay, but before we deal with that, uh, we are going to head back to where that sparkle sparkle was. Okay, and if this is what I think it is, you got one Yakra key, it is. Now, if only there was a chest that we couldn't open previously. Huh. Oh, wait, there is, of course, and I accidentally just passed it. Second time in this LP that we're freeing a Chancellor from a chest. Phew, finally, that beast keeping me locked up in here. Princess Nadia, your friends, I presume? Wait, I don't have time for this. I must prepare for the Moonlight Parade. All right. Before we exit Guardia Castle and go see Melchior about those, uh, or about the rainbow shell, Let's talk to the king one final time. I don't think he's going to have anything that important to say, but I need to do it regardless. How's it going? Sorry, fellas, I'm terribly embarrassed. Take care of Princess Nadia, okay? The real chancellor's okay. He took off to the knight's room saying he was getting ready for the parade. All right, let's head back to the epoch. Okay, so I'm assuming Melchior is going to be where he always is, and that, of course, is Medina, which should be to the right. There's the Black Omen, and there's Melchior's hut. He's not upstairs. And he's not downstairs. Okay, where is he? Alright, so Melchior is actually where the uh, rainbow shell is. I forgot about that. It's kind of confusing. I don't think he told us that, right? So he should be right here. How's it going, buddy? 
This is very rare, as armor it deflects magic. I can make you one prism dress featuring maximum defense, or I can make three less effective prism helms. Which would you prefer? Considering my endgame party is three men, and they can't wear dresses, at least in this game, I will get the three prism helms. You want prism helms? You're sure? Yes, I am sure. Alright, you just wait there. And it's really awesome that we did the Sunstone quest first, because that will enable us to get some extra stuff. Whereas if we didn't do that quest, we wouldn't be able to get them yet. Finished! Off you go now. You got one, or you got three Prism Helms. Sweet. Ah! A Sunstone! I'll create an alloy out of it. Finished! Off you go now. You got one prism specs. One prism specs. <laughs> Don't think that's the last of my bag of tricks. Finished. Off you go now. You got one rainbow. Oh, that's why you don't get the swallow. Now I remember. I finally feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. And off he goes. Okay, so let's take a look at that stuff, shall we? We'll just equip them on, uh, actually, Chrono and Frog. So the Swallow will be switched out for the Rainbow, which has a 70% critical hit rate and also an increase in damage. I knew there was a reason you don't get the Swallow, uh, and that's why, because you get the Rainbow and it's better. Okay, and the Aeon Helm for a Prism Helm, which is an increase in defense, and also defense plus 9 slash locks status. Huh, so I guess that means that you can't get status effects? If so, that's like incredibly OP. And for Frog, we'll equip the Prism Helm as well. And actually, we also have the Prism Specs, which if I remember right, increases the damage. Ups attack power to the max, yes. So, I think we want that on Frog, because I think the Gold Stud is still better on Chrono. So there we go, Frog has maximum attack power. Thank you for watching this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We'll continue this tomorrow, and I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.